Your chap had quite a little publicity triumph down at Thames Marsh, didn't he? Oh, yes, tremendous. You don't sound appropriately happy for him, Humpty. Well, the trouble is, he thinks he's achieved something. Splendid. Life is so much easier when ministers think they've achieved something. <laughs> Stop some fretting. No little temper tantrum. <laughs> yes, but now he wants to introduce his next idea. A minister with two ideas? I can't remember when we last time. <laughs> oh, it's not his own. <laughs> he wants to introduce preset failure standards on all council contracts over £10,000 and make a named official responsible. Humphrey. I know, I know. That idiot scheme of Cartwrights again. I thought Gordon had squashed it. Well, he's come over to us now and slipped the scheme to the minister privately under plain cover, brown envelope, John. <laughs> you realise it'll be us next. I mean, once you specify in advance what a project's supposed to achieve and whose responsibility it is to see that it does, well, the entire system collapses. You're into the whole squalid world of professional management. <laughs> I've tried to explain to him I tried to point out to him that his new responsibilities were for enjoying, not exercising, but I don't know. We already move our officials around every two or three years to stop this personal responsibility nonsense. <laughs> if this happened, we'd be posting everybody once a fortnight. <laughs> he must be stopped. What's his next little publicity trip? Well, tomorrow he's living his little triumph over again. He's recording a TV interview with Ludovic Kennedy documentary on civil defence. <laughs> Supposing he had a dossier on the curious ways in which local councillors spend their civil defence budgets. How would that help? I've got an idea. Well, perhaps you ought to become a minister. <laughs> 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 that was just a joke, Arnold. 